What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV Daily. Let's get into the tech news. First story of the day, Xbox Game Pass Ultimate is now available for your Galaxy phone. So if you bought the, bought the Note 20 and you got the Game Pack, you get three months of that, you can now take advantage of that and stream games from the cloud to your phone and use, if I can find it, do I have it here? I don't see it. I do see it. The Game Controller. So you can take advantage of that. You can use any you know Xbox game controller, but if you have the one that you got with your pre-order for the Galaxy Note 20, you can now take advantage of it, three months of that. And then also, if you don't and you wanna try this out, it's a dollar, I believe, for one month or a dollar for three months or something like that, but it allows you to stream games from the cloud to your phone or tablet. Next up is a little update for the Galaxy Z Fold 2 5G unlocked version from Samsung. I've officially received my order notice that it has shipped. So they're saying on their website that's gonna arrive September 19th. But when I check my tracking number on FedEx, it says it's going to arrive on tomorrow, which would be February 16th. So go by what FedEx is saying and not by what Samsung is saying. Um, also, even before this, I checked the uh, advanced tracking information on FedEx and it showed me uh, that it was gonna arrive February 16th as well. So check your orders on Samsung if you haven't received an email or even contact them. Last story of the day, as you know, One UI 2.5 is out right now on a few phones with the Galaxy series. What about One UI 3.0? Well, the beta is out and we know the change log, you know, the things that are coming out that'll be updated for the phone. So let's check out this long list of new updated features. On the home screen, you can now touch an app to add an associated widget, which couldn't you do that before, I guess? Turn the screen off by double tapping on an empty area of the home screen. You can turn this on in settings, advanced features, motions, and gestures. On the lock screen, there's a dynamic lock screen which now has more categories and you can select more than one lock screen widget and they're improved. You can see your conversations in media more convenient in those sections when you swipe down from the top of the screen. Always on display widgets are improved. Accessibility, if you're, you're into that. The Samsung keyboard, you can now find the keyboard settings more easily under general management in settings. And the settings have been reorganized to put the most important ones first. Samsung DeX, which is gonna allow you to, uh, you can now connect uh, to, to supported TVs wirelessly. You could do that before uh, on 2.5, maybe you don't have 2.5. 3.0 will obviously let you do it. New touchpad, multi gestures, let you change screen zoom, screen zoom and font size more easily. On the internet app, which is their Samsung browser, it added the ability to block websites from redirecting you when you tap the back button. Added warnings and blocking options for website that show too many pop-ups or notifications. Rearranged menus to make things uh, a little bit easier to find. Add the option to hide the status bar for a more immersive browsing experience. Increased the maximum number of tabs to 99. Added the ability to lock and reorder tabs. Improved design for tab bar, which is now supported on all devices. And it's support for Samsung Internet Edge Panel. Contacts and phone added the option to help you quickly delete duplicate contacts and enhanced the search experience. Phone and calls added the ability to customize the call screen with your own pictures and videos. Messages app created a trash bin to store recently deleted messages. Call and text on other devices added the ability to turn call and text on other devices on or off uh, with Bixby routines. Calendar, they added the events at the same time are now shown together in month and agenda view. Reorganized options for adding and editing events. Improved layout for full screen alerts. If you use their reminders, they improved the layout for full screen alerts. Digital well-being and parental controls have some new features as well. The camera, they improved autofocus and auto exposure functionality and usability. They also, within the camera, improved stabilization when taking photos of the moon at high zoom levels. That'd be a good one. Photo editor added the ability to revert edited picture, pictures back to their original versions. Bixby routines, they added the grouped preset routines to help you get started quickly and learn how to build your own routines quickly. You can also now see that actions are reversed when a routine ends. And they added a few other routines in here. As far as what it looks like, here is some screenshots from Max Weinbach. 
Here's his home screen right here with some, with some new wallpapers. Here's another one of the quick toggles. The next one shows you even more of the quick toggles. And then the last one you see is the multi window so you can see what apps you have open. So what do you guys think? Do you think they added enough in One UI 3.0 to make it a compelling upgrade? It's okay. It's not, it's not amazing. I mean, some of the stuff is cool, but nothing's like completely blowing me away. I'm dying to, to try. What about you guys? Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. See you down the road.